My first reaction came when I learned that Stuart was back already. Uh, it went too quick and that upset me a great deal because I felt, you know, this is going, not going to go well. The jury has not taken the time needed to uh, really look into things. And then that whatever half an hour it was before the actual verdict was a very, very difficult moment. And I felt just so profound sadness when that verdict came down. Because some of the evidence that was presented is devastating. It really is. Uh, and of course, I feel the impact of that. But still, the actual proof and all these indications that, that there are doubts, uh, they remain with me. And the decision I made of leaving his country in 81 is, I feel, an unfortunate one. Uh, but that is the decision he made. But he made it based on his sense that he wouldn't receive a fair trial, not as he has, it is, has been claimed, because he is guilty. He is consistently being very, very strong on that he is innocent. There are a number of reasons that adds up. And it's my years of living with Ira through a lot of tension, through a lot of turmoil, and I have not personally seen the behavior that he is accused of. So it's very difficult for me, who have not experienced such behavior from him, to imagine it. I know that there has been in his past, and he has acknowledged that, and he says that he has worked that through. Um, I disagree with Ira in a lot of issues. That doesn't mean to say that I feel he is guilty. It has to be separated from each other. And yes, Ira is very unconventional, and I think that turned against him at that point. I wanted to present myself as a character witness. I wanted to uh, travel to Philadelphia. Uh, I decided not to because I was in several instances warned that they, there was the risk. I cannot say exactly how huge the risk was, but there was the risk of my being arrested for having uh, helped Ira knowingly of him being a fugitive all these years.